Hi, this is Jim Gibson back again from the, the first video. If you were watching our former video, you'd know that we put together this rack. And? I'm John, uh, also with CableSupply.com. I've come to lend a hand. So what we've done down here is we have made a piece of concrete uh, to demo. This is not what you want to do, but I don't want to drill a hole in my warehouse floor. I want to uh, uh, drill a hole in this piece of cement we're going to throw out after we're done the demo. And you really do need to stabilize this. Now, of course, on our website, we sell the concrete anchors, the exact size you need with every, all the details, everything else, the washer. Uh, and, and on that website is also a uh, detailed description of not only the anchors, but how to use them, the torque, everything else. And so what we're going to demonstrate now is we're going to show you how to attach your relay rack, your data rack, uh, to a cement floor. Uh, these are the anchors you use for concrete um, and uh, they're about uh, what a little over two inches long. Uh, what you need to do though is when you drill your hole you're gonna have to be a little deeper than the than the uh, the anchor itself. Um, but these are a nice little pack they come in a pack of four a little plastic bag that's exactly what you need they have the right size washer on them and everything else are all ready to go. Hey guys, John again. Um, really the only reason that I got invited out here uh, was because I have a trademark technique for marking drill bits. Now the issue with this is we don't potentially, in some circumstances, we don't want to drill farther than we have to down in the concrete. Whether it's into a, a wall, you don't want to blow out the back, or in this case, we don't want to drill all the way down into our concrete floor. Um, so what this is, it's the O'Hearn wrap, and I've measured exactly where I wanted the drill bit, and I've, and I've wrapped it with a piece of electrical tape. Now, um, make sure that you don't ever use that term, of course, because it's trademarked. So, uh, from here, I am going to, um, as you can see, we've kind of lined out where we want our data rack. Um, I'm going to make a mark uh, on the floor, and, and we'll get going that way. Um, watch us for a certain technique. Uh, Jim has lent us his expertise, of course, um, and has a foolproof way of doing it. Um, we're going to mark one corner. I'm going to drill down, uh, make a mark, uh, and then we're going to move the rack. I'm going to finish drilling, um, and we're going to kind of follow that, that sequence on the rest of the holes. And the reason is, is so that we can use uh, the hole in the aluminum rack as kind of a guide. From time to time when you're drilling into concrete, it can bounce out and walk on you a little bit, uh, meaning the drill bit. So we want to we want to keep this rack exactly uh, where it is. So, and of course, one of the things you want to make sure is this is perpendicular to that wall in the back. And uh, at the same time, this is a hammer drill. Let me explain what a hammer drill. Absolutely. Is. So this is a hammer drill. Um, it's a specialty drill. If you don't have one, um, they do rent them out at places like Home Depot and Lowe's and such. Um, but what it does is it gives a little hammering action as you're drilling down to bust up, to break up the concrete. Not so much that this is going to fall into pieces, um, but just enough to get the drill all the way down. Also, Jim talked about when he was talking about uh, the anchors themselves, this is a masonry bit. It has a different head than a metal bit or a wood bit. Um, this is the only kind of bit that will work drilling through concrete or through block wall. Now I have drilled through concrete using a masonry bit and not using a hammer drill. Really? It's hard. I can imagine. You get it push down and uh, keep going using your own arms as the hammer uh, wow. action. But it does work. And I've also used, um, you can also get a special bit, a star bit, that you use with a sledgehammer. Oh, and you go back huh. and forth with that sledgehammer and do the holes you need. Interesting. But you don't want to drill a hole wider than what's required by the uh, the anchor itself because any anchor won't grab the cement if it's too big and then you're in another ballpark with another problem that's correct right um so this for this job we're going to go the easy way and use a hammer drill that yep. we happen to have because we are professionals and a masonry bit Uh, so we're going to go ahead and vacuum this out. If you have a little hand broom, that'll work okay too. But you want to make sure that you get all this stuff out from under the rack, um, also from out, out of the hole, um, which is important because it can mess with your anchor.
Of course, you want to make sure that you put the rack back on before we, before we mount our anchor. Um, we also want to include a washer um, and the nut with it. So you don't need to take the nut off quite yet, or at all, I should say. Um, so we're going to put this down into the hole, and it's going to be snug. Um, so that's why Jim has a hammer here. And of course, I always take that and just make sure that the nut is higher than the threads on the shaft, and we're going to tap it down. Yep. Um, so uh, we don't need to tighten it down quite yet. Uh, we are going to uh, drill and, and mount the other ones first. This does give us a little bit of room. If you can see, if we need to make sure that it's flush with the wall or whatever the case is, if we tighten this down too much, we wouldn't be able to move the rack at all. So we want to keep that loose for now uh, while we drill the other ones. You're going to want to take your tape measure and you're going to want to measure from that wall to make sure that this distance here, okay, right there, is going to be the same over here. So you want to get that square to the wall. Uh, and now's the time to do it once your first anchor is in, get it square to the wall now. Make sure it's proper, make sure it's square, make sure it looks good. You don't want a crooked uh, data rack. Uh, it's going to show, and it's going to have a difficulty when you put in your uh, ladder, your cable ladders and all. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've, we've bolted this guy down. It's not going anywhere. Um, I did want to mention uh, real quick before we sign off here, something that we do uh, with our test techs on the installation side of the house. Um, we do have what's called a crash cart. And what this is, it's full of drill bits, miscellaneous um, concrete anchors, sheetrock anchors, um, just stuff that you may run into that you didn't expect on a job site. Um, so we suggest that everybody build themselves one of these, uh, buy a handful of the the uh, concrete anchors and throw them in there. Buy a handful of sheetrock anchors and throw them in J there. J-hooks. J-hooks, throw them in there. Um, stuff that, of course, isn't very expensive, um, but that could save you a lot of time and money if you get to a job site and just happen to have one in your cart. Yeah, and you know what the problem is, too, is if you don't have this in the cart, then you got to run out to Home Depot in the middle of the job. you got to go out and uh, find the part you need. Oh, they're out of it, they're everything else. So, what we do is we buy a bunch of them at, at, the, at one time and we throw them in the cart here and we know we're going to build a data center or a, uh, uh, a small, let's say, uh, a telephone room. We have all the parts right there. We can get it done twice as fast. We know what we got. Just do it and get it over with. Yep. As we all know, time is money when you're on a job site, so uh, equip yourself. So on our next video, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about our, our cable ladder rack. Cable ladder rack, we're going to attach it to this device and we're going to attach it to our demonstration wall. Again, this is Jim Gibson from Cable Supply. Hi, I'm John from Cable Supply. Of course, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, make sure you get all our videos. Thanks, guys. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this YouTube installment of CableSupply.com.